Hello, horsey people. This is a brand new game for 2022. It's a free online breeding horse game. The whole slogan of this game is a passion for breeding. So I'm like, yes, because my whole channel and my whole life is finding horse games that are just breeding different colors. And yeah, I don't like to do things too technically because I don't understand it. But I do really enjoy like breeding stuff and seeing what color foals we get. So this is why I say if you enjoy the breeding of the foals and rival stars horse racing, do not knock these online free browser games. They are wonderful. So just looking at the different breeds here, this is very exciting. There's lots and lots of different breeds that you can choose from just to get you started. So we've got the American Paint, we've got the American Quarter Horse, we have an Andalusian, sorry if I'm saying any of these wrong, of course I am, Arabian. German Riding Pony, Hanoverian, Nabstrapper, which is very pretty, Lustetano, uh, Oldenburger, <laughs> Burger, Thoroughbred, and the Tricona, which I'm probably saying completely wrong. So yeah, I'd like a mare, and it looks like we can have driving or English. I'm going to go English, and let's go, I would like, I think I'd like an American paint, just because you get some cool coat patterns here so if you look at the different basic coat cut colors you actually get different shades i mean look at this so these are all your shades of chestnut how cool is that right i mean this one's beautiful i love i love a chestnut okay then you get wild bay you get all the different colors here as well which is really nice uh then you get normal bay and they are all slightly different it's very 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 subtle but in an amazing way. The seal brown is actually quite nice. Like that's really sweet. I really think that's lovely. Um, and then we have black. So you have different shades of black as well. And that's very pretty, I like that. Um, gray, you just get the one shade of gray at the moment, but that's fair enough. <laughs> that's like more than fair enough. Uh, okay, so I'm not sure what color I wanna go for yet. Um, you can add a dilution in, whoa. Whoa, okay, so you can add a dilution on the black and it's come out like a gorilla, a gorilla, a gorilla. Uh, let's see, now I like this color, where's it gone? I want a chestnut like this, I love that. But then you can't get, you can get a dilution on that. <gasps> wow, I wonder if it'll do a dilution on the liver chestnut because that is absolutely beautiful. Basically trying to make spirit. That is really nice. Um, hmm. So look at the wild bay. Let's see if we chuck a dilution through it. I'm like, I'm trying to big spirit here. Um, but it doesn't matter. Because actually, oh, do, do I want a black horse? Everyone loves black horses, right? Oh, that's really nice. Yeah, and then you can add a dilution through it and it makes a grillo, which is absolutely beautiful. So you get modifications. You can add the sooty color. You can't see it very well there. If I just add in a bay, you'll see what I mean. Yeah, that's really cool, isn't it? And then you can get patterns as well. You can get the Tobiano or the Overo for the paint horse for the horses such as like the Narbstrapper and stuff like that and the Appaloosa, then you can get Appaloosa, which is really nice. So um, I am pretty sure that you'll be able to unlock more coat patterns as the game goes well. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it's brand new. This game is brand, brand, brand new. Brand spanking new. So let's go back to Mary Paint. I'm definitely gonna have a paint. I'm gonna have a do like an overo. Tobiano is also really nice. But I'm gonna go with an overo. Um, and I'm gonna go with. I mean the done is nice, but I want I would like the liver chestnut, I think. I really like that. If we could put maybe yeah, I don't want a sooty. Sooty, sooty, sooty. We could put done through it like that. That I mean that is quite nice. Yeah, let's go with that. That's quite nice. <laughs> uh, we've got that and then you can add little markings so like a snip you can kind of see it on the face faint star small star <laughs> big star yeah oh there is actually a big star okay stripe that kind of thing so bold face you can have like a big white face which is quite nice wide interrupted blaze interrupted blaze wide blaze it's all just absolutely is this the dream? Is this a dream like game? Now, okay, let's let's create her. I'm happy with that. Hopefully this will work. Ooh, okay. Okay, and then let's come back in a mosey and I will register my game. You've su successfully registered on Morning Dust Rants. Sent you an email. Okay, 
Well, let's go do that and I'll be right back. Okay guys, we're here with a tutorial of this brand new online horse game which is Morning Dust Ranch. I love the little logo at the top here as well, it's so cute. So yeah, here we go, we've got tutorials to do. So, brand new game, this is Early Access, which I'm super excited about, yay! The whole motto of this game is passion for breeding, so it's great. Sorry about my microphone today guys, OBS went weird on me so I'm having to record through a different system, and quite frankly it's terrible. But, I wanted to get this out for you guys ASAP, so, but here we are. Okay, in this tutorial you'll be supported and guided through your first steps on Morning Dust Ranch before you can play and enjoy the game completely independently. For this to run smoothly and with as few difficulties as possible, we've put together some basic information for you. Uh oh. If you're playing on a PC, you can move this dialog box anywhere. Oh, that's helpful. Okay, if you're playing, yeah, okay, you can also close it anytime by clicking X. When you visit the page again, the tutorial will appear again and you can continue uh, where you left off. Okay, good. On the mobile phone tablet, uh, it always appears at the top of the page. Click next. Okay, gosh, there's 29 of them. Good lord. Okay, Morning Dust Ranch, Ranch is a horse browser game that focuses on breeding and realistic genetic systems. Oh, 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 that's what I'm talking about. Okay, horses can inherit their colour, overall potential, confirmation, and inner values from their parents, as well as fertility and hereditary diseases. Okay, amazing, amazing. Behind this is a complex, obviously not hereditary diseases, that's not amazing, but behind this is a complex system to make the game as realistic and, above all, as exciting as possible. The game is designed to be played over a long period of time, oh, so progress is slow and requires a lot of planning in advance. Oh. Okay, I might struggle with that because I do have the attention span of a spoon, but I don't know, it could be good. Before we really get into the game, here's some key data that will be useful. One MDR year is a real month. Okay, over the course of these 30 days, MDR changes through the four seasons, each of which lasts seven days. The fold is grown up at three years. Okay, so it takes three months to get a fold to grow up. Ooh, okay, it's quite long. Uh, mares will be in fold for 11 months, which is 28 days. Okay, it's going to be a bit of a waiting game, this game, uh, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, maybe not, unless you probably pay the stuff. Uh, the weather changes daily. Great. In Maine, you can find the rules if you read them again later. There you'll also find the frequently asked questions and the newbie guide. There, uh, where many of your questions will be answered. If you have any questions that you cannot find the answer to in either the FAQs, the newbie guide, or by searching the forum, you can of course ask this question in the forum anytime. Okay, gosh, that's so much reading. But now, uh, but now to the really important things on MDR, the horses. <laughs> We've chosen the first, our first horse, yep. Let's go and visit it now. You can do this, go to your horses and open your horses profile page. Let's do that. Ah, I haven't got a name yet. To do this, your horses, did I not name the horse? That's really stupid <laughs> if I didn't. Okay, wow, they're all, okay. Just looking at this without reading the stuff here. This looks detailed <laughs> in a good way. Oh, I'm gonna have to be clever, I think, for this. Okay, I get a percentage of purebred as well. Oh my goodness. Okay, there's a vat, there's a vaccinate. Oh my, look at all the. Okay, it's probably gonna tell us in this tutorial. Okay, so uh, let's visit the horse. That's we visited the horse. You can. What are we doing? You can access your horse by clicking on the number of horses you have at the top right. So that's that. Oh, okay. We'll just straight through the normal way. Okay, clicking on your horse's name will take you to its profile page, which we've done. Uh, you've made it and can look at your horse here for the first time. Look around a little. When you're ready, click on next. Okay, well, let's look around a little bit. So this is a mare. It's an American paint horse, 100% purebred. Lovely. It's a red dun overo. <laughs> Oh, I like that. Okay, I think this might be one of my favourite games. Um, I'm just going to say that out loud. Uh, Red Dun Overo. What I like about that is, is what I think it lacks on horse reality is naming it. Because for people like me, I, I don't know what colour it is, but it's it's almost like I want to have a collector's thing going on with all the colours, you know? Anyway, so, oh, you're worth 2,575 DD. DD. And then you get all these different things. So you get horse sharing, caretaking, retirement, horse market, private sales, auction, exporter. Okay, and then you get equipment here. You get veterinary, farrier, equipment, for saddles and stuff. Grooming box, stables, feeding, and laboratory where you can 
see if the horse has got any of this stuff. That's clever. And then you've got riding down here, which is training, riding lessons, groundwork. I love groundwork. And outdoor. Okay, and I assume they will do different things. Here we've got our health, uh, satisfaction, affection, and whether we've done all the, the uh, stuff here. That's physique care. There's no grooming box assigned to this horse, so you need your own grooming box. That's cool. Wow, look at this. And then you've got your traits, which I assume you can train up. Offspring, a list of the offspring. Oh, this family tree! That's crazy. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get addicted to this. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get addicted to this. This is gonna be dangerous. Uh, okay, uh, discipline, traits, uh, show breed percentages. That's so cool, I love that. And then you can do like, I just think that's awesome. Look, all the confirm confirmation here. Acceptable head, underbite. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Okay, it's good really because you can probably learn about a lot of this for real life as well, which is which is really cool. Okay, and then you've got your mentality here, which is good, good, good. Fearless social behaviour probably needs a bit of work. Okay. Wow, this is great. And then you've got a list of competitions that you've done or not done, and you've obviously got your records there. So this is cool. Look at the little room. Oh, you got a picture of your equipment. Come on. Your horse is the following boarding. Your horse is the following. Okay, so you put them in boarding somewhere and you can feed them and all that kind of thing. Shebang. Okay, your horse doesn't have a name yet. Okay, so do this click on name horse. Question mark. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna go to this big sidebar here thing. Oh, I don't know what to name her. Um, she's a red done. What should we name her, guys? I think let's call her. I don't want something generic, but you guys know me really well. I'm probably going to go with something generic. <laughs> I think let's go with Rolo. <laughs> Most <laughs> generic thing ever. Uh, what's this? So, oh, okay. I've got to read this. So, if you want to give your horse a name, note that the main nos must not contain swear words. It should also match the gender of the horse. Oh, yeah, but. Um... How do you know that something's gender? Do you know what I mean? Because Smokey could be for a girl or a boy. Yeah? Once the name has been chosen, it cannot be changed. Oh, right, it can't be changed. Oh, think carefully. Okay, now that's, that's messed with me. I don't know whether I want to call her Rhoda now. Including all breeding symbols may not exceed 30 characters, otherwise it would cut off. The main breeding symbol is automatically added, added to self bred false. What have I got to do? Have I got to put a breeding symbol in, have I? I'm so confused. Okay, I'm going to call this one. I'm not going to call her Rolo then. Oh, I don't know what to call her. I want to give her a really cool American name. Female American. Google is my friend. American names. Yeah, I'm so sorry about this microphone today, guys. I just, um, it's just, um, OBS, like, would not let me, like, record, record, um, record the online without being super bright, which is great. Uh, should we go for a Disney theme? I think we should go for a Disney theme. I am going to call this one Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. No, I'm not going to call it that. Okay, I'm really stuck for a name. I might need to pause the video and come back. Because I like the names like Dakota and stuff. Let's go American States. But I feel like, is that for boys? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, actually, what are really British names? Because I'm British. I could just call her something really cool. Uh, Okay, good mad names. <laughs> I'm stuck. Ah! Probably gonna come up with some really rubbish, aren't I? Let's face it. Oh no. Oh. I don't know. Lady's a great name, but that's my name. Could call her Honeybee. That's quite cute, actually. Alright, it's gonna be Honeybee. Honeybee. Cool. Okay, it's gonna be Honeybee. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, I, I've named the horse. So we're gonna go back to the horse and we're gonna go over here. Very beautiful name. Wonderful, you gave your horse a name. Now you have to board it. Oh man. Okay, let's go to the stables. Ooh, this is crazy. It's important that you choose a stable that has at least an outdoor arena. You also want to train in winter. You should choose one that has an indoor arena. You have two choices. You should make good decisions as whether you can manage to come and log in every day. Well, I don't think I can yet because I work. Um, <laughs> whether you can't do it for a few days. Okay, 
you're online every day, which I would have been, I'm a kid. A uh, self-catering store is enough for you. However, if you can't come in every day... Okay, it's like DIY or not. Sweet. Where's the boarding? Uh... Okay, how do I board? How do I board? How do I find a stable? I'm probably being stupid. I need to go to stables. Where's stables? Harlow? Where do I do this? Go to... Go to yard. Where is yard? There's yard. Ah, uh -huh. And... Stables is what... Oh, we could buy saddles and stuff. That's dangerous. <laughs> this is very dangerous. Where's the saddles then? Am I being really stupid? Not saddles, stables. Stables. Where's the stables? Oh. Oh, it's there. Okay. There's tutorial boxes to my island. Right, here we go. Okay. Um, You should have two choices. Make a good decision as to whether you manage to come online every day. Yeah, we know that. So we get sick. Select a stable for your horse and click on the tab the loose box and select one for your horse. Ooh. Okay, okay, what do we get here? Oh. Okay, um, let's go with, let's search for boxes. Oh, I feel like this is gonna be expensive. I think we should get a folding box. Um, because I do wanna breed the mare, and I'm hoping that might be on a, yeah, on the tutorial. I mean, I don't care what it is. Uh, let's go. All the extras. Let's, I do want an outdoor shelter pasture. Ooh, I mean, indoor would be great. And maybe even a horse walker. Uh, whatever. Let's go hay rack, automatic feeder, water trough, automatic muck. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing here. Search for suitable boxes. And there's nothing, is there? Public stables. In order for your horse to be well looked after, show for boxes. Ah, oh, this is crazy. Okay, uh, this you need, oh right, you can make your own. Ah, that's a good idea. Do you know what, at this point in time, I am happy to just go for one like this. This one looks great. Let's go for this one. Let's put Honeybee in a, gosh, it's expensive. And then this is real life, I suppose. Okay, Ooh. oh, I've lost my tutorial. Oh, there it is. <laughs> select a stable, click on the tab for the loose box and select one of your horse, which I've done. Yay, I've done it! Okay, now I need to go on to the next thing, which I'm not sure... Okay, wait, oh, my mouse has gone crazy. Let's go back to my horse. Okay. Yay. Great, you found a stable for your horse. Now you need to feed it. Keep it from starving. I mean, that would be a great idea. You can buy feed in the equestrian shop. Where's that? Where is that? There it is. <laughs> okay. Great, you found a stable for your horse, you to feed it. Uh, let's go for basic mix concentrates enough. Where is it? Basic mix. This is cool. It's like a real shop. Okay, I've added to the shopping cart. This is like real life. Where's my shopping cart gone? Okay, um, where's my shopping cart? <laughs> I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Hey. Cool, and I've lost my tutorial box as well. Okay. Cool. You can find everything in the equation shop, pretty much. Remember that being uh, that a bag always contains 30 units of feed, you have to calculate with one bag of feed per horse. Gosh, this is complicated. This is a complicated game, but in a good way. Buy a bag of mixed feed, concentrate, and then go back to your horse. Okay, I can do that. Let's go back to my horse. Okay, here's Honeybee. Hold on, buddy. Welcome to the equestrian shop. Oh, I've been there. I've been there. You were shopping in the equestrian shop for the first time. Now the feed has been taken to your horse's feed room. The horse has its own feed room. Look how beautiful it is. <gasps> Go to your horse's profile. In the sidebar on the left, you'll find many actions you do with your horse. On the left. Okay, yeah, I've seen all that. That's great. So I'm assuming feed is here, feeding plan. Uh, what do we do? In the side of my final actions you can do for starters we'll only assign the feed you just bought for your horse to do this click on the wheat symbol ah okay so i'm in the right place great do you think i could quit my job and play this all day that would be great 
Now your horse has a stable and feed, it gives you almost everything you need to take care of your horse every day. On MDR, the health of your horse reflects the care. If you don't take good care of it, it loses health and can get sick. In this part of the tutorial, we will explain what your horse needs to stay healthy. Note that the description below differs depending on whether your horse is in full board or self catering stable. Basically, it should be noted that your horse must be provided with feed and water, obviously, and regularly groomed and mucked out. Awesome. Awesome. If your horse is on full board, stables do all that for you, but we're going to be doing it manually. Oh, do I get some money back? <laughs> your horse needs hay and water every day, or they get sick. Well, obviously, because it's real life, and this game is the most realistic game I think I've noticed online. This is crazy. It's no problem if you get to groom your horse for a couple of days, but a horse can only stay in a dirty still for a few days without getting sick. Okay, we're going to learn how to take care of them now. Delect directly below your horse's picture. Okay, there's physique in the left. Cool. And then we've got like vaccinations and all that kind of thing. This is cool. On the right hand side, you can see the status of your horse vaccination, deworming, teeth and hooves. In general, a green bar means that everything is okay. A yellow bar indicates that action is required soon. And a red bar indicates that there is an immediate need for action. The horse is currently not missing anything. Okay, thank goodness. And one of these bars is red or yellow, or your horse shows an illness. You can inform the veterinarian or farrier in sidebar. Okay. Oof. God, it's like I've got my horses in real life. I don't know if I can have another stay. I don't know if I can do this. This is like real life. In the second tab, you'll find the care of your horse. You can also groom it when it's dirty. You have three areas to take care of it. The coat, the mane, tail, and the hooves. Okay. You will see the message that your horse does not have a grooming box yet. I know I don't. I saw that before. So do we need to go buy one? So what do we do? There's also ready-made grooming boxes. Ready-made. Okay. Um, I don't know how I can get my tutorial box back because it's now stuck up there. But anyway, uh, you can buy grooming boxes in the question shop. Let's go to the question shop and buy a grooming box. Let's do that. Care. Oh, you can buy a little. That's really cute. Uh, what do we need? A like a. Is this just a box? <laughs> oh, it contains it. Okay, right. Uh, Lady Ranger, why don't you read stuff? It's a lifelong spec. Each grooming kit needs its own grooming box. Okay, well, let's get the $60 one. Whatever it is. DD. Okay, uh, let's go back to the horse and apply the brush and the Texas ta uh, tack box. Texas. Oh, that's funny. Okay. Lemon. <laughs> Lemon. Okie dokie, you have three areas to take care of, okay. <laughs> so can we groom said horse now? Ooh. Oh right, you have to press it quite a lot, okay. Ah, okay, good, love it. Get your horse, oh great, your horse really shines now. A clean horse is, I don't know what that was. For training, if you want to ride your horse, you should groom it every day. In the third tab, you'll find your horse's tack room. Oh, look how lush that is. Your, each horse has its own tack room. Oh, man. You'll find the equipment assigned to your horse. We'll get that later on in this tutorial. The fourth tab provides information about your horse's accommodation. You'll also feed it here. Water, muck it out, do all that stuff. If the stable has a shelter, you can bring your horse into it. But because your horse can move freely, it can run back to the pasture on its own. If the horse is in the pasture, it will also be in the shelter during some of your visits. This has no influence on your horse. Okay. Hello. Right. You now know how to take care of your horse. Now we've got feed and water, said horse. Okie dokie. I don't know how to do that, but I'm going to go over here. Okay, I did feed the horse, did I not? Hmm. Let's go physique. I don't know if I'm in the wrong place. Hmm. I don't know how to do it. Okay, I'm probably reading this wrong. Come on. Fourth tab provides you about the context of boarding. Oh. Let's lead to the... Let's give him a carrot. Oh, feed horse, water horse. Okay. I've just done it. I did it. Can I lead to the pasture or to the stable? Should we go in the stable? Oh, the background changes. That's really cool. Look at those changes. Field and shelter. I like the shelter. So shelter's cute. Feed and water your horse. Done that. 
take care of your horse and make sure it's just as good tomorrow as it is today. The next step is training your horse. Ooh, must be in a stable. Okay, let's get to the stable. Oh, outdoor and indoor arena. Yeah, we, we definitely did that. Your horse must be healthy. Okay, that's fine. Okay, your horse's fitness must be high enough. Your horse must be groomed and fed. That's fine, I think I've done that. Different types of training. Groundwork training, trains, what? The fundamentals. Okay. Let's, we'd like to start with the fundamentals today. Oh my word. Okay. Now I have horses in real life and it's actually quite nice to see that groundwork's being put in as a focus. Okay, here's groundwork. So what can we do? Uh, depending on the, okay, I've got to read all this because I don't like reading stuff. It's just, I hate reading stuff. In most cases, however, it is, it is advisable to train all the fundamentals. You can read about the fundamentals required specifically for your horse in the FAQs. You can choose between different intensities here depending on the intensity at which you train. The gait is also trained in addition to the fundamentals. The special gates are trained on the oval track. Where's the oval track? Here in brackets. So you have, oh, okay. Um, walks, walk. Oh, okay. So you get like alternatives, basically. The higher the intensity of the training, the more energy your horse uses. You can always only train your horse until the exertion reaches 100%. Okay. Depending on the intensity, your horse also needs a certain level of fitness. Okay. Horse has 70% fitness, so you can train with it at low, medium, or high intensity. Okay, should we have a look? Uh, so we want to go um, here. Here's groundwork. Let's go medium. Uh, let's do libertine groundwork. Oh, the trot of honeybee improved. Okay. Uh, do we just keep going? Let's do some lunging. Let's do all of this. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, I've done that. Wonderful, your horse enjoyed the training. As you probably noticed, your horse does not learn something new with every click. Oh, I didn't notice that I clicked too quick. I was being impatient. Ridden training is possible from 80% fitness. Your horse's fitness increases with every training session and decreases by 1% every night. What? Wait, hang on. <laughs> training is possible. Ridden training is possible from 80% fitness. Your horse's fitness increases with every training session and decreases 1% every night. Right. The more intense the training, the greater the fitness gain. In order for you to be able to ride your horse at some point, it's important that you train it every day to further increase its fitness. Okay. Another reason to log on every day. I might have to get up at five. <laughs> Any groundwork training improves other fundamentals of your horse. Okay. So we'll do this daily. Fine. Okay. Look after and train your horse daily until it gains 80% fitness. Well, I don't know if I can get back there. Um, so what have I got at the moment? Let's have a look. Where's the fitness? Rope and pole. Fundamentals here. Oh, I've got a tiny little percentage. Cool. I am loving this game, guys. This is ridiculous. I think it's going to be quite complicated for me. <laughs> uh, so what am I supposed to do here? I am confused. Um, fundamentals training. I'm not sure. Any groundwork training improves other fundamentals. So look after and train your horse daily until it gains 80% fitness. Hmm. I think let's go and have a wander. I don't know. I kind of want to go and have a wander, but I feel like there's going to be. We need this another like 10 steps almost, but it's not letting me move on at the moment. Look after and train your horse daily until it's 80% fitness. But I've used everything up, have I not? Where is my 80% fitness? My head is there. Where's the fitness? Probably being really stupid. Where's fitness, guys? I have no idea. So far, this is absolutely incredible. If it was down to me, I would... I'd be on this all the time, I think. It's going to be complicated, which I don't know if it's going to be too much for my little noggin. <laughs> wow. I made this account on the 22nd of the 2nd of 2022. That's amazing. Well, this horse's birthday is when I made it then. Sorry, made me very really happy there. I think, let's go and have a look. What's this? Horse sharing. There's quite a few people on here. This is amazing. But it's a free game, guys. You just go online, just type in Morning Dust Ranch, and then you set up a free account online. You can use Google Safari, all those things. And it's not on your iPhone. Well, you can, unless you're using internet. Oh, it is on the iPhone. I'm being stupid. It is an app as well, which I'm totally going to download in a minute. 
and yeah it's gonna be really cool so let's go and have a look at around a little bit so i think let's go to my horses a second let's see if that reset the tutorial at all i don't know if it did but this is my main horse here that i've like made which is cool i would like to think about doing some breeding at some point so breeding's here this is a breeding station i'm just gonna find my own way through it i love it oh i have nothing <laughs> at the breeding station you can breed your own horses both horses have to be passed have to have passed the breeding show if you'd like to book a stallion from another user visit the stallion depot so where's a breeding show where's that Ooh. yeah let's enter a breeding show the horse could not be entered for the breeding show it needs it needs at least one competition placement oh man okay <laughs> okay so let's have a look at the horse market so let's just see what sort of things are for sale and that kind of thing. So let's go American Paint. I don't know. Let's say let's go all. Let's just go any breed. I don't care what it's going to be. Um, rock. Let's go English. Let's think horse market, and I don't mind what price. So let's just have a look. I want to see what there is. Oh, there's no horses for sale yet, unless I put something specific in. Oh no. So so far, as I record this, this game is brand new. It's early access at the moment. There's 62 members, and there's 189 horses. So what on earth is this gonna do when it's like full, full whack? I think this is gonna be one, one of the best, if not the best games online. I, I think it's amazing. So uh, horse importer. So how much can you, so I've got, oh, I haven't got much money. Okay, you can Im import a basic horse for 5,000 pounds. This is cool! Free hereditary diseases is 3 EC. So I assume EC is in-game money? I don't know. Here you can exchange your event credits for great prizes. Some prizes are a permanent addition, others are only available for time, limited time. Hmm. This is cool, this is cool stuff. This is wicked. Um, if I press X, will my tutorial come back? Oh, my tutorial's gone. There it goes. <laughs> My tutorial has gone. Gosh, there's so much here. You do obviously have your FAQs here as well, which is amazing. Oh my goodness, there's so much. I'm going to have to sit and read all this, I think. I hate reading, but it'll be fine. This is very complicated. This is the most realistic, like, game, definitely. I am absolutely... I don't even know where to start, to be honest with you. Oh, I get a job. Let's get a job, guys. What's this? Your task is to determine the level of random selected horses in a given discipline. Newbie job. Check. Let's do it. Oh, I don't even know I have to have an answer. Oh, okay. Oh, at what level uh, is this horse in school? Oh, okay. So you have to read that. That was just lucky before. Your task is to determine the random selected horses. The horse opens in a new window so that the page is not reloaded. The following horse was selected. Nori. At what level does this horse... Let's have a look at Nori. Hi, Nori. Has that gone? Yeah, let's look. Nori is very pretty. So, I have no idea. Pleasure trail. Let's have a look here. Probably not very high then. Oh dear. Jump is terrible. I have no idea what I'm doing right now. But hey, I don't know what L. Let's go level one. Oh. I need to go and read the FAQs. Oh, this is going to be this is going to be too much for me. I need a whole afternoon to do this. It's good. It's really good. It's really cool. Let's go back to my horse. Let's go back to Honeybee. She's pretty, right? She's pretty. I don't know what this is. And you can write about the horse there as well. It's three years old. Yeah, I get to the caretaking stuff. It's amazing. I, yeah, I've lost the tutorial. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> this is so fun. So fun. I guess you can log out there. I have a message. Welcome to Morning Dust Ranch! Woohoo! Go to my horses. It's a fairly com complex and demanding game. Yeah, you got that right. <laughs> yeah, it's complicated, but in a really good way. Okay, let's go back to... I mean, I'd like to have a look at the auction hall. Let's just go auction horses. What have you got? Ah! Oh, I don't want to auction anybody off yet. <laughs> So I've lost my tutorial, but that is absolutely brilliant for today. We're probably going to, well, we're definitely going to have a whole like playlist dedicated to this game because quite frankly, it's amazing. I wonder if this is going to be better than anything else. It's just whether it plays quick enough. It might be like horse in the sense of like it does take years, but hopefully it's not going to be money grabbing like horse. 
I said it. I know I said it. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. But guys, thank you so much for watching. And if you want to keep on track of new horse games coming out, especially this one as well, I'm going to be playing through as a newbie. We're going to be looking at genetics, breeding, and all that kind of thing. We've got loads of horse games coming out. But if you're just horsey nuts and you love horse games, then you're in the right place. So please subscribe, turn on that notification bell. And if you think this is going to be one of the best games, free online games, might I add, then please smash that like button. It really helps us content creators out. Wow. That's it for now. But we're going to be back. Have a awesome rest of your day. Bye.